Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for joining us for another session of the WNS Operative Grand Rounds. The following session will be a discussion regarding surgical management of genital neuralgia or primary otalgia or neuralgia due to nervous intermediates. This is a rare and difficult disorder to diagnose. We'll discuss today some of the technical nuances related to exploratory posterior fossa surgery for transection of nervous intermediates. Thank you. Bill, thanks again for joining us. This is a very rare disorder, thanks God, genital neuralgia or primary otalgia or severe ear pain or ear canal pain. It's also called nervous intermediate neuralgia because it originates or the pain is supposed to come more commonly from nervous intermediates, which is located between the 7th and 8th cranial nerve uh, um, in the cisterns of the 7th uh, and 8th nerves. Um, this is extremely rare, and um, the diagnosis is so absolutely critical because so many different pathologies can overlap in terms of creating ear pain. However, for patients who are absolutely miserable with the pain and are often suicidal, this procedure that is technically challenging actually can be very much satisfying. It often happens maybe once or twice a year for me, and you know I treat about 200 terminal neuralgia um, patients who require surgery with MVDs a year, and I'm sure for you it's as rare uh, that doing a posterior fossa exploratory surgery for severe ear pain or primary otalgia is rare, and the diagnosis has to be very carefully considered. What are your pearls in terms of uh, the diagnosis and treatment? So as you mentioned, um, Aaron, it's a, it's a very difficult diagnosis to make uh, with absolute certainty because there's a lot of overlap with the other pain syndromes, trigeminal uh, and, and obviously glossopharyngeal. You really want to make sure you're not missing glossopharyngeal neuralgia. And uh, I have the patient seen by otologists and, um, and head and neck specialists we do a complete radiographic workup, uh, both CT and MRI, to look for any pathology uh, at all that could be causing uh, the ear pain uh, prior to considering this. And also, obviously, they need to be medically refractory. So uh, ultimately, it's an extremely rare disease that we only see a few cases uh, compared to the, uh, the vast number of trigeminals and, and lesser glossopharyngeal uh, neuralgias that we see. Thank you. And this is briefly the disclosures before we proceed, none of which really interferes with the presentation. So let's define genital neuralgia pretty briefly. It's an involuntary intermittent or potentially partly constant neuralgic pain deep within the ear canal. The pain may radiate to mastoid or occipital regions of the face, but again, primarily the pain is in the ear canal. The nerves that innervate the inner canal or the surrounding areas are 5, 9, 10, and most importantly, nervous intermediates that is uh, responsible for taste and lacrimation. Is this another neuralgia, neurovascular conflict syndrome, such as trigeminal neuralgia and hemifacial spasm? Maybe, but again, the ver verdict is out there because it is such a rare disorder. And treatment options are mostly anecdotal, the series are very small, and again, the surgical treatment has to be very, very cautiously offered. Here is a patient's interview that would illustrate what typically um, genicular neuralgia um, can be described by the patient. Again, please pay attention to details of his description, as you will find out the nuances of diagnosis are absolutely the most critical factor in good outcomes in this disorder. Can you please uh, tell us about your pain? The pain I have is very intense. Worst pain of my life, 10 out of 10 on a pain scale. It would feel like I was being stabbed in the head with an ice pick or a sharp object right at the ear canal. It would come and go. The pain would be intense for a few seconds, go away, come back with in a minute or two, I, I would have periods of remission where I wouldn't have any symptoms at all, and then for a day or two, I would feel like I was being stabbed a hundred times a day. It was terrible, and the 